Well, I'll just record and we'll see what happens. Oh, I didn't turn the other one on. How do you do that? Yeah, red button. Red button. Yeah, that one. Then turn it on. And then you should be able to see the screen turn on. And then you press it again and it should have a red flashing light. So it's recording. I have a red light that's not flashing. Well, then it says saving. That means you press it too many times. Okay. It's now saving the video. It's doing nothing. Hey, it's gone. Hello, GoPro. Technical difficulties. Here we go again. Ready to record. There's yep. a red light. Oh, flashing. it's already recording. It's not flashing, but it's got a counter happening. Yeah, well, that means it's recording. I'm not going like this. Okay. This one's working. I'm not really suited up, but hey, we'll give this a crack. Yeah, well, we'll get that. Hey, look, I can film you too. No, you can't put me on YouTube. I do that enough myself. Well, this will be messy, to say the least. Oop, oh, I'm in the corner here. Uh, I might just zoom out. There we go, we get the whole beehive in. This might be all right. And I'll go up that way a little bit. Sorry if this camera is filming nothing at all. It's probably going to fit our hybrid flow hive today. I suppose I should put my suit on and do the, all the things I'm supposed to do. Let's see if I can mess this up as I usually do. This rose has me on camera to make sure that I mess up. Of course, we need more bees because it's what the people like. Never prepared as always. Don't worry, viewers. I'll get there eventually. Then by technical difficulties. Oh, always. Hey, look at this. The camera films nothing but the side of the wooden box. Well, that's what I did the first time. And then got a white box. Well, we haven't got a white box this time. We got a, a wooden looking box. Oh good, it'd be a slightly different shot. And we're viewing from Basically three flat. different angles. This will be good. Rose is going to follow me, my camera is still. And this actually might be too short now. I might have to get a new one of these. Mm. We'll deal with that later. Hello, oh, anybody in here? Ooh, hey ladies. Looks like my internal lid's come out with it. I'm oh, getting a bit of work happening in here. Excuse me while I try and pull this in. And I can almost see what I'm doing. Yeah, they're just floating around doing a bee thing. That there, try and hop out of their flight path because I'm getting really good at getting in their flight path. Now yeah, maybe if I move this up a little bit, you might be able to see what's going on in here. Hello! Anything happening? How's that camera angle? Well, there's not a lot happening in our little box here. We may not even bring this flow hive on now. Hmm. Well. Looking as good as I thought it was going to be. We've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five frames that are drawn. That I can see. Um, I'm going to put my little flow hive attachments on. So I'll hook on this side. So I'm working on this side. Well, whoop. yep, that's not what I wanted to do. Yep. This is a bit of space around here. Not that many bees in here. Oh, we definitely got, you know, honey. Definitely do not see any larvae. So she's not up in here yet. And if she wants to. So this should sit hopefully on here without losing it. Oh my goodness, man. So the next frame, of course, has nothing on it. Well, we're in my plan to put in the other flow hive on. We'll still have a play and I'll have to see what we can do. Do you want to be on there, Miss? Hello, how are you? Close up. Just 
obviously. Oh, well. honey and a whole bunch of cells that used to have brood in them that's why it's a little bit darker there see that on my camera over there too I'm sure rose can see that so that is all old drum worker comb but the queen obviously hasn't come back up and laid in there yet is obviously not up in here because there are not enough of these. So we're a bit slow, we are in autumn. Some of the honey is broken there now because I've had worker cells in it and it's now empty and there's honey in there oh, there is a hive beetle if I can get that little hive beetle oh where are you hiding come on down inside the frame come on come out come out so I can squish you like the hive beetle you are there's another one yep you're dead yep off it's good yep there's another one there Dead high beetle, see? Dead high beetle. You don't like high beetles. Should check my camera, it's still rolling over there, shouldn't I? Rose obviously can't get over. You wander around through all my mess. Oh, yes, we're still going. So they're good because they're nice and quiet little bees, which is fantastic. And busy as a bee. This one's over here is. Oh, there's another hive beetle. Come out of there, you. Yes, I've seen you. Hmm. Oh, she's gone. There's obviously a bee there having a bit of a munch. Close with Rose's camera view. Close up, GoPro. Don't know how good this is, Rose, but you're getting close up in there. If you had to do something with it. I'm sure I didn't realize I wanted to do it. Yes, we do. Let's see if I can get over on this camera. I'll put you back up again so you're not pointing at the ground this into view if I can. Oh, I can't even see it. Where are you? She's eating some of the honey there. Whoop, a bit out of focus. That's just where the broken comb was. It's a bit of cross comb. As you can see it's um, higher than the rest of it. So that's where it was joined to the other frame. probably get upset because I'm going to take the honey away. And she's off. 
Right. <laughs> that frame back in there. A few beetles in the tray down the bottom. I was going to hope the queen would have been already up in here laying. Oh, that's all right. So, put this one back on that side. We'll pick up this frame. It's actually another side. We'll put it back in here. Yes, I'm annoying you, I know. Well, see if I can crash this off and uh, take off the little ideal super. So, I'll put this over here, any bees in there. Oh, hello there, girls. You have been busy. Actually, we're pretty busy down here. I'm hoping they're not filling it all up with honey stores. We might do a little bit of a swapsy here, actually. So, I'm going to take this frame out that I have with a little bit of wax on it. Pop another frame up another other hive, which we lost. And this is an old frame, oldish frame. Actually, the really old one's there. It's the one I really want to take. I'm sure there'll be people out there on YouTube saying, but Trevor, you're putting another hive on, another another super on, and you don't need to. Yeah, well, I am a bit like that. annoying when somebody comes in and plays around with your house. Wow. 
I'm actually going to put you in here. Which is probably the wrong thing to do. But I'm going to anyway. I did forget to go and get my Kleenex cleaner. I might have to run into the shed and go do that shortly. She was a little dark, wasn't she? She was. I'll put you back in. closer to over in here because there are a lot more bees over here some of the older frames I really like to take out some of my ladies Hey, I can always do the other thing, can't I? We can run without a queen excluder. Do what Mr. Frederick Dunn does. We've already got a half a honey bridge when we put that other box back on. Probably the wrong thing to be doing. <laughs> heading towards winter but I'm also an impatient person as most of us know. Okay you're struggling to get in there all right well let's take this one out then. I'm gonna drop you in there. Might be a little bit better for you. What do you reckon? Sorry, didn't mean to drop yous. Oh, my finger got caught. I'm gonna drop this other frame back in. You girls can work out your own little bee space in a second. Yes, I'll put yous all back together in a minute. Oh, they're already climbing across onto this other one over here. Yes, it's my dear little honey. I'm not sure where put this one on the top. Hey, there we go. I don't know if I can get that in there, but there's lava in there and nectar. There's a fly too. Hey, bugger off, fly. It's alright, the bees will sort her out. There should be some lava in there as well. Oh. 
on one of these two frames. Maybe we show the last frame uh -huh. this time. Still building foam. So I feel like there's a little bit of lava in there. Oops, sorry girls. Some uh, cat brood, some little larvae here and there. Oh no, that's pollen. Pollen on that side. Sorry, oh, sorry. And it's pollen. Pollen and nectar. That's good. Clean. This one's very light. It's probably had brood in it and it's all hatched. And there's a bit of pollen. That's about it. And there's some nectar. So I'm probably jumping too soon putting my fire five on, but you know, that's me. I do weird things. babies but it's also got a lot of honey on it. Well isn't that a bit of a bugger? Hey? you back in that way. Just to disorientate you, please hop off my thumb. Probably gonna sting me now. Go away. What I wanted. The problem I have is that honeycomb is all sticking out. It's gonna make it very difficult to put another frame in there. Oh, you girls are painful sometimes. Oh, uh, was that an out of frame? Is that what I've done wrong? I can't because it's got baby. No, on. Okay. Oh, it's got all this painful in it. Sorry, girls, I'm gonna, you know, wreck the little you a little bit. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I do things that you shouldn't do. Somebody come and remove the roof of my house either. Okay, move you over. Move you over. Mm -hmm. 
Do you reckon? Is it right or not? I think so. think so? It doesn't line up. I don't think anything's meant to line up. No, it doesn't line up. The box is. Hey? No, no, this one didn't because we did it separate. Yeah. I'm actually going to run away for a minute because I'm going to have to go and get my clean excluder. Well, then again, I probably don't really have to, do I? We've got a honey bridge. Will I run the risk? Didn't see the queen. We'll also give her a chance to get back down the bottom if she is up here. <sighs> what do we reckon? Oh, the things we do. Um, yes, I know I really probably shouldn't have done that. Hey, look, the camera is videoing the box again. Mm. All right. I might bloody luck and then end up with the queen up the top here. <sighs> oh, I do the most silliest things, don't I? Hey, this is why it's called beekeeping. Oh, screw it, that's heavy. Oh, crap, that's heavy. Hey, this is getting to be a bit of a big hive now. disrupted our house. You wrecked my house. Is my phone still recording over here in the shade? Oh, groovy. It's actually still working. Yeah. Now, I suppose we have to put the lid back on. Hopefully the girls will be happy. Shoe fly. I'm going to in there. Now, this is probably wrong, and I'm going to get crucified by everybody on YouTube. But I don't do things that everyone else does because yeah, yeah, Chris, I don't know what you do. I am silly wrong, and I do right. everything different. Why didn't you put the Queen Excluder on? It's not going to work. You're going to have brood where you shouldn't have it. Oh, if that's the case, that's the case. Oh my goodness me, now you can actually look inside and see what's going on with the bees. Look at that.
Me girls, right through your flight path. Yes, I know I shouldn't do that, but hey, this is me. I am the weird one. So, so here we are in the side window. So, a frame that has brood and nectar, and the bees are doing their thing. Hopefully, the queen isn't on there. I didn't see her, but hey. Maybe she was. Hopefully she was still hiding in the bottom. You know, I don't do things like everyone else. You know, I'm, you know, everyone's gonna say, you shouldn't have done this or you shouldn't have done that. That's, you know, that's what happens. But look, they're busy, they're happy. They've got plenty of room for everything. Let's see how they get going. Short. Yeah, it's got a little bit. Hey, look, I can do this. Ta-da! Can't pull the tie Anyway, I'll, I'll get another strap. I won't leave it like that. them a little, I've ground them down so I can fit the um, back cover off the normal flow hive, just make it a shelf, so cool.
Yes, I know, I'm a very upsetting person. Why is, there, why is there so much room? We didn't have all this room. I just hope the queen's in the bottom. I oh, know, I know, I probably messed up, but. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. So. Well, I didn't see her on the two frames I put in the top. But I've missed the queens before. But most of the brood was on those other frames. They were all cat brood. Mm. Queens yes. normally not on cat brood, but normally. So. With a bit of luck, it'll be all good. Okay, so I get this. Tie this off here. Now on my luck, the queen's probably sitting right in there. Not too bad. Where's this camera going? Well, they're all busy now because I've upset them. And they're coming back going, this isn't what our house used to be like. Definitely a little, a little excited. Window into the world of beekeeping. As they go, there's all this space and all this light. What's going on? Feeding the brood, if there is any uh, open brood, and they're trying to keep them warm and keep them cool and doing all the things that bees do. It's too bad it doesn't have a window on the other side like the flow hive, too. You can see what both sides are doing. Put you back down. 
down there just for a second while I put this on, and then we might have another little wander around the back, but I don't think there's anything in the back. Oh, I see a couple of bees just down in the bottom here. They haven't explored. They're, they're looking around. They are looking around in there, so... I can get this, but just at the bottom of the flow frames down there, there's a few bees, and oh, they come to the light, so they're checking out the cells and going, hmm, what's going on here? Now, that center frame is actually out of my other flow hive that I took off just before all the rain, and I lost my two hives out at Sanford. So, there is a little bit of wax in that frame where they've actually the bees had started to seal it. So these bees are checking it out because, you know, I mean, they're from the same relations because all these bees have come from my brother's bees and every time I, well, there goes a plane overhead. Every time we've done a split or made a new hive, I've used my brother's bees as a resource hive. So technically the genetics are the same. Technically everything should be the same not really introducing you know, a frame from a hive that's not meant to be here. Although there is a couple of frames in there that's not supposed to be in there, but no. they are. But, um, I mean, they're um, obviously checking everything out because they've got this new bit of space. And they're going, there's all these gaps and this doesn't feel right. We're not sure what's going on. We've got a new high rise. So, they'll work out themselves what they're doing. In a week or so, we'll come back and have another play and see what's going on. Obviously getting very interested in these center frames, which is good to see. They're already on them. They're not really working them. I think they're just checking them out. They're going in and out of the cells and having a look around. I'll just put that cover back on. You can go in there and have a look if you want, Rose, when you're ready. You just have to open that up. There you have it, another inspection. So, the reason I like the hybrid hive over the standard flow hive is it's a lot more user-friendly. Don't get me wrong, the flow hive is great and you can have either six or seven frames with honey and you can get out when they're filled up. But in this case you can use the outer frames as honeycomb if you want to cut out honeycomb or in the case what I do is I actually put brood frames in the top and I can actually cycle out my old comb. So I find it more beneficial to be able to still move my brood frames up like you do in a standard Langstroth hive which obviously if you want to cycle out your old brood frames in the bottom you put them into your top honey super the brood hatches comes out goes back down the bottom um, and then they just refill it all with honey and when they seal it up well you uncap it and you spin it out in the extractor or you can crush it and then the old wax you can cut out and you can melt it down and use it as candles or lip balm or timber polish or whatever you want to use it for or you can just throw it away or you can sell your wax to uh, bee companies or bee suppliers they can reuse your wax and I think it's a great benefit to be able to have the hybrid hive with this ability to be able to do both honeycomb and the flow hives okay I can't necessarily collect as much honey as say my brother does or I do have another flow hive which I can put on top I don't think I really need to I don't think they'll get that big but I do have another one there and it is a six frame and if you get three kilos and you got six frames you know you're, you're looking at um, 
18 kilos of honey. Is that right? 18 kilos? Six frames? Three kilos each? Yep, sounds about right. And there's about 2.2 .2 pound per kilo. So you can work that out if you want. Um, one, one frame will give you, um, uh, let's see, 2.2 .2 pound by three gives you 6.6 .6 pound per frame multiplied by six. About 36, almost almost 38 pounds of, of honey out of a eight frame, oh sorry, a six frame flow hive. I call it six frame because it's six flow frames. Um, the advantage of the hybrid is it's still an eight frame box and I have three frames, but I also have four standard frames. So I actually have seven frames in the top. Just, you know, means I have one less than a eight frame and one more than the six frame you would get from Flow Hive. I know this is all confusing, but if you go to the Flow website, they'll sort all that out. Um, I prefer I prefer Flow Hives. I prefer Langstroth Hives. I do see a great benefit in other hives, like Horizontal Hives. If you want to look at them, please check out Ricky Raw. He has his channel, which is called Horizontal Bees. They're there in the US. Great channel, has great content, has all different designs with his horizontal hives and I do see the benefit, they're very good for people who may not be able to lift heavy um, or maybe even injured people in wheelchairs as an example. Um, my daughter's in a wheelchair but I'd probably never get her out here because she wouldn't want to do these. She prefers the uh, stingless honeybees that I have. Um, of course the other great channel is of course Frederick Dunn. I like watching his channel, and even though I've been doing this a long time, I still learn things. Um, I'm always learning, I'll admit that. I'm very far from perfect when it comes to beekeeping. You can see that with all my beekeeping videos. I rarely do anything anybody else does. I do my own thing, and a lot of what I do is experimental, and it's also to see how the bees go. They seem to survive every time I've done anything in any of my hives. I've not had any dramas until they got flooded and washed away. Other than those ones, even when I had my, even when I had my hive gates, I had a little problem with uh, a water entry issue where I hadn't leaned the front of the hive forward. I had it leaned back, and the hive actually filled with water from the rain. Um, but we fixed that up as well. We emptied it out. We lent the front board, the landing board forward, and we cleaned out the hive gates, and away they went. They were fine. Of course, I've lost those now because of the flooding, and I lost those two hives. But um, in saying that, I have this wonderful hive, and it seems to be doing well. And I think I've got a lot of bees there at the front, so I reckon, you know, it is daytime, and most of them are out foraging. They come back tonight and realise that they've got an extra story on top. I reckon they're going to get in there and start working it as soon as they want to. And it is up to the bees, you know probably shouldn't put that flow hive on. I am impatient. People will learn that. They've seen that from my other videos. I tend to just do things. And obviously I didn't even put my queen excluder on this time. So that's probably a mistake too, but we'll see what happens. Um, I'll open this up next week, as I said. We'll probably go through. Most of that brood would have hatched in the top. The bees, there probably won't be that many bees in the top and I'll be able to shake them out. The queen hopefully won't be up there and she hasn't laid. The workers have got to prep all the cells anyway, so it'll take a while. So by next weekend when I go through them, I'm quite sure I can go through and be confident I can find guarantee the queen's in the bottom. By the time we do our inspection, and if that's the case, I'll put my queen excluder back on. But um, as Frederick Dunn says in America, that if you don't run the queen excluders, the bees do tend to move up faster. And if you have the smaller ideal box or medium box in the middle, it does tend to help because it basically makes what's called a honey bridge. The queen doesn't like to go over the honey bridge to go higher to lay. My problem is that she might already be in the top, but I'm hoping she's not because I didn't see her. And with a bit of luck, she's still in the bottom laying. She has plenty of room in the bottom to lay. There are some new frames in the bottom that they can, of course, build wax on. Um, 
I'm not extracting any honey, so they can use their honey to make as max, much wax as they need. I'm hoping, I would say next weekend, that the bottom box may have a lot more brood in it. But we'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch up next time. Just enjoy the bees. I certainly do.